is it? More chords in here than a music class. There's Sorry. more chords in here than a music festival. <laughs> Weirdly, kind of similar, <laughs> not that like funny. Or it's actually anything. way less applicable. <laughs> oh, music cause, class. Because so many little different kids with their keyboards. <laughs> for the for the video viewers, you, you, you're witnessing us having implemented a, a new cliche podcast mode esque piece of equipment that you've probably seen many people use before. It's a microphone stand. Yeah, we wanted to give it a shot. You know, it's nice to talk with our little fingers, our little hands. This is good. And video listeners, not only do you see that we have these new microphone arms, but you are seeing Andrew looking handsome as a freaking devil. Andrew, you want to explain your suit? Just, just threw on some clothes. Oh, Andrew. Like usual. No, I, uh, I'm wearing a suit for no reason. You That's, know what? You know, it feels nice, though. It, 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 it looks so good. I, I shampooed my hair today. How often do you shampoo your hair? Only about once a week. Interesting. Yeah, let like me call keep... up my dermatologist and let him know. What? I'm curious. You, 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 you're not calling anyone. Sorry, I was going to put my phone away, but I got a voice memo from Ricky Montgomery. Oh, Ricky Montgomery came out with a song <clears throat> with Chloe Moriando. Stream it. Oh, stream uh, uh, Mr. Stream Loverman. It. And I'm not talking about the artificial carbonated uh, alternative oh, oh, oh. to sodas that you can buy at the at the, at, at the, 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 the stores. Yeah. Andrew, you've been going through a, 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 a soda water phase. Carbonated water phase, yeah. <clears throat> what a try, healthy thing. Tried a mango bubbly. I give that a uh, 5 out of 10. And then I had a lime LaCroix. Uh, and I've been having a lime LaCroix party uh, all alone uh, by well, myself. What's your favorite artificial flavor? And it, don't lie. <laughs> That'd be weird. Like, it's hard to sense. say. It's a case by case basis. Okay. Um, I've always been a cherry guy. For the video listeners, we're <laughs> in the middle of the episode. I might, I might throw this piece of equipment. Uh, don't throw it at anywhere at any glass, though. Okay. So first thing. Oh yeah, I wanted to start. Sorry, it's, it's difficult because I need to look your way. Yeah. And this piece of equipment is it, sort it, of. It feels pretty natural. Well, so I'm nicely. also wearing. A suit. <laughs> this is this is like restriction city. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> do you do you, you you know when you uh when you're on a roller coaster and you're like certain that your thing isn't down and it's like taking off and you're like, "Well, this is the end of me." I don't know if I've just seen uh, Final Destination too many times, but like seriously, whenever I'm on a roller coaster, I'm like, uh, "No, you know, before it takes off, I'm screaming." Oh no, it's not come down far enough. It's wiggling. I'm wiggling. Is Help. that is that what you feel like with this piece of equipment? No, I feel great. I uh how's everyone doing? Nice check-in moment. Something about this vibe. I've been feeling really, really nice recently. I think I've been kind of seeing the world sort of normalize a little bit, or at least I've been feeling some normal vibes and I would be doing myself a disservice to not admit that. And I don't mean in restaurants. I'm not talking about that sort of thing. Just in the air. I'm not talking about news stories, nothing. When I, I have really been making a conscious effort, Andrew, to like mm -hmm. put my phone away. Even just now I saw my phone was in our eyesight. And I put it away. Mm, dude, I, yeah. I, I hate it because, by the way, anyone listening to this, uh, you might have heard this before, but it is a really cool exercise that I heard about. And Andrew, do you remember where I heard it? Have we spoken about this before? Like your phone being... Yeah, you're saying if your phone is even in between you and somebody else, it's a huge problem. Yeah, you don't have were... to be on it. You'll oh, be holding oh, it. I'm not going to be able to source what it was because mm. I'm sorry I don't remember, but it was an actual study that was done with people and they were not telling them the factors. They had like, you know, hundreds of different people in and they were uh, placing the phone like on the counter and saying, how did that level feel? Whatever. Summing it up, mm. they were saying that when you're on a date, when you're with someone, when you're meeting new people, anything, a phone being simply on the table limits the trust between you and that person because it makes perfect sense. The screen can always go off, a little notification, mm. a little oh, light, dude. and always. So and it is such a cool exercise. When you are at dinner with a family member, with anyone, you're on a date, whatever, you will feel it. You will consciously feel it. I've talked to people about this when out and be, and like if you put your phone out of sight in your purse, yeah. under the table, on the chair next to you, and it, you can't see it, I swear you will have a better conversation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course well, yeah. you know Well, saying. also, we just, I guess that's a constant theme in both of our lives right now is to be more mindful of what our phone is actually doing to us. I mean, yes. it has to be. We've brought it up, I think, three episodes in a row now. At, at this point, I would truly say that it's a reoccurring theme in the podcast, and one that I really like, actually, because I do think that you know the, the phone addiction stuff and all those sorts of things are a really, really dark thing uh, that I think are, need to be put in check and no mm -hmm. one's talking about because it's like everyone's favorite candy. Like, yeah. you know, uh, smartphones are so incredible, and I get it. Andrew and I both get it. We're never going to radically villainize smartphone use and stuff, but I love talking about it and putting it in check, and why I even started saying this sure. was because... Because I kind of got into nature. I escaped, right? I traveled a little bit uh, this past week, I would say. Mm. And uh, I didn't go anywhere crazy. Just really got away for a minute, right? Yeah. And uh, I spent a lot of time in nature and just, mm. uh, you know, obviously consciously not looking at my phone, not going on Twitter, sure. nothing. And it really... It made me kind of, and even coming back into sort of quote unquote real life, like normal life, and kind of seeing the things around me, I'm, I feel a little bit 
better than it in a way. Not better in it. I'm just not in a uh, <laughs> not in a mean way, but just kind of like above yeah. it in the right ways. I'm like, mm. yeah, I don't want to be about that. Like I'm starting to question things and being like, yeah, I, I know that sounds a little bit ambiguous, and I want to keep it there weirdly because I'm experiencing it for the first time in a minute. Because yeah. I feel like over the uh, you know pandemic and everything, I've been really, really, really bad with phone habits. I think most people have been. Uh, of course, we yeah. we've all been. And but yeah. I'm just feeling a nice thing happening in the air. I was driving around today, windows down, music up, and I was like, this is good, man. I'm, I'm really liking the vibe right now, and I hope that people are feeling that to some degree. Even you saying, oh, when you're on a date or something like that and, and your phone's in front of you, the screen could light up. Pit in my stomach. Oh, dude. no. Just even envisioning that. Yeah. Like sitting across from somebody and then their Ooh. phone's on the table. Ooh. Yeah, right? Ooh, put you, it away. You, you see what I'm saying, though? Yeah, yeah. What about it being a phone yeah. makes it okay for you to just be at any second distracted by something other yeah. than this moment? And yeah, using your phone as a, as a as a utility is cool. Like if you're watching the Sweet Boys podcast on your phone and you like the Sweet Boys podcast and you feel like it's good for you, cool. I don't, sure. I don't have any qualms with that, yeah, you know. Yeah. I, I I watch stuff on my phone that I feel like is uh, nice for me. It's when I, I get under that spell. Well, when we talk, yeah, the mindless scrolling, the, the hip, mindless the hip, apps, yeah, yeah, the hypnotic part of it. But anyways, yeah. I guess what I'm talking about more is that I'm really feeling the effects of it because uh, before it was more me going, I really want to do this, I really want to do this, and I actually put it into practice. And yeah, yeah, that's that it, cool. Yeah, 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 and realized that it felt really good. And uh, today I uh, went outside, Andrew. I woke up and I looked at my phone and then kind of went, no, 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 wake up. Like the, you feel, why, why did you just do that? You know? Um, and so I put it back down and then I went outside and I just baked in the sun, listened to the squirrels. There's something so nice. A little meditative music comes in. I like rolled out of bed. I was just wearing my sleeping shorts and I was like threw a towel out there and I just like baked in the sun, man. What I'm getting at here with probably repeating some of the same stuff is that I just feel great. And I'm really starting to feel kind of the world just spiritually feel a little bit better, and I really like that. And uh, also, I watched WandaVision last night, mm. the finale. That was great. Um, and you had a Drake song drop. First of all, I've been wanting to do this. I'm so curious. I want to start the episodes off yeah. with like a um, Ooh. something for people, like a refresher slash a invitation to new people. <laughs> do, or do we not do that? No, no, no here we go. It We're doing it. Oh, yeah. Here's the, here's the here's some themes of Sweet Boys. We're not experts on anything. We're always trying to be better. We generally don't know what we're talking about. We're always trying uh, to develop ourselves and talk about think, ways to be better um, without being an authority on it. We're, we're learning. You've seen us. We, 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 yeah. When we set out to do the podcast, we told ourselves this is going to be a journal of sorts yeah. of our evolution as human beings whilst also being podcasters. Which means that we need to be about it, too. Well, sure, but I'm also saying in this moment, you're <laughs> yeah. witnessing the uh, that happening. You're yeah, witnessing yeah. it unfolding. The comments is the sweet... <laughs> to be determined whether the comments is the sweet space or the sweet zone. And if the comments are the sweet zone, uh, we're always, always all up in the sweet zone, commenting back like crazy. I love the comments. Oh, we have lots of little alarms. Speaking of, Andrew... Well, no, but see, in the future, yeah. I want this to be... Just so we can have our little moment of pretending like we know what we're doing. I want it to be like a 30 second boom, 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 boom. Welcome to Sweet Boys. Boom, 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 boom. And then you say boom, 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 and then we're done. Yeah. And it's like people at a certain point almost, maybe we change it up a little bit, but after a while, people almost know what we're going to say. It's almost memorized like boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's nice. You know? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, 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 here's a fun thing. Welcome people. Oh, go in the comments and say, no, weird. Contact YouTube. Find out who's new to the channel. Really, just send emails here. In the description, we'll put a lot of different, really, complex emails to contacts over at Google find out who's new we're or just, we're if you're new to... or if you're new to the uh, the channel you could say <laughs> I'm new here and then you could say something and then people could reply and that. comment down below if you like to arm things if you're in the video oh the video. oh I thought you just meant our little arms well I hope people like our arms oh I, I've been I want to work on my arms make them stronger really Andrew, got... oh oh okay I have a couple things right now I we... have a couple things too first of all yes if you are new here straight up like first day of school stuff introduce <laughs> yourself in the comments even oh. if you're not new here by the way you can just if you're if you go I've never even re put a YouTube comment if you introduce yourself in the comments like like you don't have to say your first and last name or anything just be like hey Hey, uh, I, I like this. Here's something about me. Hello. Because secretly, you know how kids hated that in school? Oh, like, introduce yourself to the class? I love that. I love oh, really? it. Oh, I that love that. No, that makes a lot of sense. I don't yeah. know why I said, oh, really? That makes sense. I loved the opportunity to get in front of people. And it wasn't just like, oh, look at me. It was never that. It was like, I want to show other people that it's cool to get up here, that mm. we can like, I loved talking to people afterwards, even if they were shy, if they got up there and said, I'm from Florida and um, I kind of like like animals and sure. stuff. Yeah, you know, that sort of thing. I would love to go up to that person and be like, yo, that's so cool. I love animals too. You know, I just, yeah, I yeah, loved yeah. that moment totally. so much. And I always, when teachers didn't do it, I wanted to stand up and go, you're failing. Connect us better. Um, 
I we, we were talking about our arms. I love, sorry, I love I love this mic. I I like this microphone arm because I could do the radio host thing where I like bring it closer. Oh, this is the new vibe. I love these arms. Also, this again, for the audio I, listeners, just realize that if you're trying to envision what we look like, we're hands free. Look at me. I got moving. my arms like boom, like yeah. Mad Men style. And I'm wiggling my little fingers. Uh, can we add a little wiggling sound effect? my little finger wiggle because I you couldn't do this before yeah true caffeine is hitting we got this new arm thing I'm in a suit I'm in rare form right now so apologies if we seem a little scatterbrained but listen you're in handsome form is what you're in and I'm talking with a capital H Ooh, let me tell you what happened what I was gonna go to the grocery store and uh, I was going to buy something what is it a food item no do you know what it was gonna be just mm -hmm. guess based on the the nature of the SBU sweet boys universe yes uh, Which is it, now officially a thing. We're introducing a lot to this episode. I hope everybody's okay. Well, if I were to think of a food item that you could bring in the Sweet Boys universe, uh, 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 we, we talk about hydration a lot and how it's important to drink water. Did you bring ultra hydrating uh, uh, coconut juice? Which, by the way, is a it's lie. A f food. Something we've referenced before. Oh, did you bring us sushi? Andrew, if you brought us sushi, I'll freak. No, no, no. I didn't. I actually didn't didn't bring us what I was trying to get. I'm so hungry right now. This is the twist here. This is what's going to what's going to shake people up. It's going to throw them into a complete frenzy. Oh, Joe Rogan, whose podcast is the most popular in the universe, watch your back, because Andrew's about to bring out a food in the SBU. Well, I'm, no, I'm gonna this is this is the conversation. This is gonna be this is gonna be on Reddit. People are gonna be talking about this. Okay, and probably the news too. I went to the store to buy. Andrew, it's just, I mean, it's just, it's just Spence. Wild berry pop tarts. You did not. Guess what, though? No, wait, what? wait. Ah. They didn't have them. What did you do? Not. I, I don't mean they they didn't have them as in there weren't any on the shelf. I meant there wasn't a place for them on the shelf. What do you mean? I meant that the, were they floating? No, I meant I mean that the grocery store doesn't sell them. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, no. I, you see what I'm, you see where I'm getting yes, at? Yes, yes, you, yes, you yes. feel the gravity? So what did you do? Uh-huh. You feel it? I feel it. Mm. And I ain't talking 2013 Sandra with Sandra yeah, Bullock. Yeah, well, I had it ready to go. You did? Yeah. That was a wonderful movie. And by the way, the same director of Gravity, his name is Alfonso Cuaron, and he directed the greatest Harry Potter film ever made, which was Harry Potter 3, just for the record. Go on, Andrew. But that, that, was, that was it. Are you serious? Well, no, but I got some brown sugar one. <laughs> You did? Well, it was a consolation prize for us to just have lingering around. You are not going to believe. Trying to eat healthier, but you know. Well, I've got something that is really going to bake your noodle. Oh. Is it a pan with some water? Oh, and a stove? oh, I love to bake noodles. I made noodles the other day. Oh, Andrew, you I, sometimes when I eat ramen, I get really tired and I go to bed. Oh, Andrew, thank you so much. Oh, he's giving me a half of a brown sugar pop tart, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a little crumbs. Oh, if I had a baby, like a kid, I would name it Little Crumbs Watch. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd play video games with them. Little Watts. Oh. Uh, if you're at home and you have any Pop-Tarts in your cabinet, maybe another type of shell. Feel free to have a Pop-Tart with us. Let my us brother, Randy, if you're listening, you scumbag. Whoa. Sorry, my brother, my whole family. I have uh, two wonderful brothers, a sister, and my family. They're the light of my life. Uh, but my brother, Randy... Uh, he, <laughs> this scumbag, used to still, my, when my mom would treat us to Pop-Tarts, right? Get us Pop-Tarts. This little trickster, this little monster, would steal the Pop-Tarts, right? Like, just like a little animal. And he would hide them behind his bed. Behind his bed. So, Randy, how's it feel? You're getting called out, brother. <laughs> <laughs> for your behaviors. You ever have a sibling that steals your Pop-Tarts and hides them behind his bed like a freak? Well, hiding in the bed. Behind the bed. Because he had this bed that was kind of like, it had like a kind of a compartment behind it, like a shelf above it. Really good place for hiding secret things. Whoa. One time, I found his stash. All the Pop-Tarts. Probably pictures of pretty girls. You know, typical things. Be in a teenage boy's room. And not only were the Pop-Tarts back there, but the souls of so many other treats. Yeah. Rappers everywhere. Sure. And I ain't talking Drake's. <laughs> 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 Sorry. I hated it. I know you did. <laughs> Which is why I left. Andrew. Um, how do you feel? Having, I, having, having your little pop tart treat. I feel so excited because I didn't eat before I came here, which I know I should have, and I'm very happy about that. Do, would you like to say anything? I still, I, I can't believe you're able to speak right now, um, given the fact that I've just broken the news that some grocery stores are now just like not carrying wild berry pop tarts. Well, Although I get it because you don't really care about them. Well, I care about them because you care about them, and Andrew, I just want you to. Well, know I care about them in the sense that I was going to bring one and we were going to try it, and you, I was, you're going to have to look me in the eyes and tell me that you don't like it. Well, I'll tell you this much. And yeah, I knew the, it wasn't going to happen. You know what? You know what? And it, then victory alarm for me. Victory. Boom. Told you so alarm. Told you so alarm. I don't want to told I you so hate... alarm. Sweet no, boys no, no. love each other. No, no, no. I know. Okay. But I would love a told you so alarm 
in place of us having to say "told you so," because I think that that is the worst phrase. Yeah, that has got to be one of the worst phrases. Yeah, that human kinds have ever ever normalized. Told you, I if somebody I, tells me "told yeah. you," I just I I like I I literally am so programmed right now at this point that I just I'm calling an Uber. Like I don't know how to explain it. Mm. But if someone says "told you," I'm like my hands on my phone. Yeah, and I'm already like gotta either looking here. for my keys or if I didn't drive, I'm like looking for You're like another alternative. Eyeing the window to p- perhaps make a leap safely, of course, to get out of the building where someone says "told you so." I but just the, broke my shoe. I'm sorry. I'm going to move this light. This light usually is not visible. No, Andrew. I think the light looks great. No, I, I, dude. Lights <clears throat> lights do weird stuff on camera. I've been thinking about getting a lamp. <laughs> and I will tweet it. <laughs> That's sorry, actually was... a pretty good tweet. Okay. Mm. What are we doing here? I'll tell you what yeah. we're doing, Andrew. Player's choice. Do you want... Player's choice. That's what's something that I've just said. Do you want... Uh, do you want a, a salacious uh, topic to talk about? Salacious? I don't Wait, know. Where's what... the diction? We... I don't know. Rila, where's the dictionary? We told we told you once upon a time we were going to have a dictionary on set. Let to be me keeping notes. explain to those who don't know. Rila Kumar is an invisible producer. That oh, yeah, I almost want to tell. We can't do this. It, we can't do this. Are people going to be seeing Rila Kumar? Yes or no? Are you gonna Are you gonna go home, take Rila Kumar, shoot the shots, put him in the podcast? Are you gonna it do this? Depends if I have time. <laughs> I can't. I don't know. Andrew, new pants, new shirt, new jacket. You have a, is that Saturn on your socks? I see some planets. And new socks. I have planet socks on. Oh, yeah, you see? Did you get those at the airport? Yeah, because I kind of forgot socks. I, <laughs> I was funny. rushing out. Okay, can I, can, I, can I get an alarm up in here? I brought a fun surprise for you. Fun surprise alarm on 321. What did it sound like? I'm going to get the surprise. BRB. Oh. I have two surprises. Say pink or red, and that'll just dictate what surprise you get first. <laughs> Go on, Andrew. Red. Ooh, you do, do, do. Ooh, ooh, fun surprise. What's he got cooked up? Reaching to his back, got a fun surprise. Pulling out the red, because Andrew wants it, got a fun surprise. He's pulling out his bag. Okay, that was a little intro song for the surprise alarm, Andrew. I thought it'd be fun, because you know how sometimes the world of food in America and in the whole world uh, puts out limited edition products? I thought, what if I bring them as a surprise? So the red oh, oh my gosh. is Coke. Uh, it's a Coca-Cola product, and not sponsored, of course. Coca-Cola product is mixed with uh, coffee. And, and and I have dark blend and vanilla. So Here it's a go. coffee Coca-Cola fusion. And I thought we'd do... Well, but that's not the end of the surprise. Now, keep in mind, you have a whole other surprise to access. Wow. But I also prepared little cups with ice. Trying new product segment. Well, and it's and it's so yeah. Rhett Link, I, what the degree? Yeah, they, and, they, and, and how much are they freaking out? Are they they're calling their manager? What oh do we no, do about these guys. The, the the foundation of Rhett and Link's building, wherever they're filming right now, is absolutely shaking up a storm. It's probably unsafe at this point. Hmm. Honestly, the city of California is like, I don't know if this is going to pass sure. like earthquake. Sure, sure, sure. You know, well, no, we're not. Believe me, we're, uh, Rhett and Link are always going to be significantly better than us at everything that they do. Uh, but no, uh, Andrew, this is fun, right? People go, oh wait a minute, Coca Cola has a coffee product. Oh. And so, then they go, we heard that on this. No, I'm sorry. Price. No, I'm sorry. Yes. So just so I can gauge this. Sure. Is this like a cultural thing in the world right now? Coca-Cola has coffee. Is it like the spicy chicken sandwich at McDonald's level or where are we at? I don't know. Oh. I just saw it and thought it was fun. What if this has been around for years? <laughs> what if this no, is the thing I don't think that it is because the cashier. We, by the way, I appreciate the surprise. Great surprise. Thank you. I will say that. Yeah, it's a little bit better than my. Pop tart surprise. Although I did get brown sugar for you and not cherry for me. But listen, Andrew, we're not going to go there. I I I I, I am so grateful. So I just wanted to know, though, like, if we're doing something that's like, you know, we're really on the pulse of the internet wave. This oh, is going to be a big deal. Well, according People are going to be referencing us in magazines. Yes. Coca-Cola tries their hand at coffee. And, it, and then they're, they're, they're embedding a clip of the podcast. Oh, yes, yes. Is yes. that on the table? Because if yeah. so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adjust my suit. Well, and I'm going to adjust my little hair. If we're going to be in all the big magazines. My hair still looks stupid, but Andrew, you look so nice. I'm delusional person. I'm I, 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 but I, you want to you get hit with a double surprise? Ooh, I'm going to do it. Whoa. Uh, look. Uh, does, that, does that sound like Obama? Yeah. That's all I could do, though. Just little micro moments like that. Uh, seem to be in sponsorship mode. <laughs> What's up, <that>, Bernie Sanders? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of Bernie Sanders, where's my suit? Well, this is what happens in sponsorship mode. We look different. And the vibe is different. We start doing terrible impersonations. Start drinking out of a chalice. You see my little skeleton in hand? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that fun? It's a skeleton arm with a thumbs up, yeah? Sorry, audio listeners. I'm holding a little skeleton in my hand with a thumbs up. What do you think he's saying thumbs up to, brother? Health and wellness and easy regimentation of something that you need to do every single day. Wow, right Andrew, there. that's really specific and very good. And you're not wrong. He's thumbs upping to health and wellness because as we all know, the 
world is, thank goodness, starting to normalize a little bit. And I'm very excited to sort of normalize myself. Part of me normalizing myself is prioritizing my morning routine, my health, yes. my wellness, my vitamins, my nutrients. Brother, do you know where I'm going with this? I'll, I know where you're going with this. <laughs> I'm talking about care of, baby. <laughs> Garrett, why don't you explain to people what care of is if they don't know what it is? Because <laughs> listen, man, I think that needs to happen. A wellness brand. <laughs> A wellness brand that makes it easy to maintain your health goals with a customized vitamin plan that helps you feel best today and supports you long term. That's what Care Of is, brother. Andrew, no more wandering through the alleyways of pharmacy stores looking at dusty bottles of vitamins going, what do I take? I don't know what to do. Help me. Yeah. I want the vi best vitamins. I don't know which to do. You mean aisles? Yes. With Care Of, you got high quality products formulated with good for you, clean ingredients that are backed by science. Care Of's in depth five minute online quiz ask you questions about your diet, lifestyle, and health concerns to help you address your specific wellness goals. It's like having a one on one nutritionalist on your side. Yeah, but you don't have to fit the bill. Yeah, because the sports nutritionist probably say, oh, change you a bill for a million dollars. Foot the bill? Yes. Is that right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Andrew, one of my favorite parts about Care Of is that their vitamins come in little daily packets, like individual packets, yeah. which you know because you take them as well. Truly, they're great for like just grabbing on the go and being like, I'm taking my vitamins on the road, on the bicycle, on the walk, wherever you want. Throw it, throw it in your bag. Throw it in your bag. Throw it in the just bag. like throw it in there so Throw hard. your toiletry bag. Throw your gym bag. Throw it in your computer bag. <laughs> oh my God, look at all that health. Look at all that health Andrew's exuding right now. You want to be like this? You want to be this healthy or this full of wellness? Here's what you're going to do. We here at Sweet Boys are giving you 50% off your first care of order by going to takecareof.com and entering code SWEETBOYS50. That's 50% 50 50 off your first order by going to takecareof.com and entering code SWEETBOYS50. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we have to get back to the podcast. It has to be done, and I need to get back in my suit. Oh, your suit. I feel very informal right now. I can make it happen with the snap of a fingers. Oh, he's going for another surprise in his bag. He's got a fun surprise that he's hitting with Andrew. Wait. Andrew, say the other name. Say the other thing. Say pink. I want the, I want to see the pink. <laughs> Strawberry frosted donut Oreos that I thought we could fun for try. This is this is great. So they say pink colored cream with glitter so on the we're, inside. We're, we're, we're in a segment right now. Yes, we're in a segment. Are, wait, isn't this fun for people? Like, what is this segment called? Well, now, granted, both of those things are sweet, and we could do a play on word situation. Sweet surprise. Interesting. Uh, but it, it needs to imply food a bit more. Sweet, well, well, no. sweet, solid surprise. I think this is two segments happening at once. Okay. I think there's sort of a yes. cultural, interesting, you know, new thing happening, taste testing element, and then yes. there's also the surprise element. I wanted to go right out with now. A what bang. you're doing, which yes. is a little confusing, because we're introducing two segments at once in a hybrid form. Yeah. No, I think so, they're kind of the, well. But real quick, I think they're kind of the seg segment, uh, same segment, because they true, are exploring. But yeah. Would you also agree that you could break out a surprise that was not editable? Uh, yeah, uh, yes. And I think you have before. Yes. Actually, no. I think everything that you brought out was always edible. Weird. <laughs> okay. Well, Andrew, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called Sweet Solid Surprise for now. Not sponsored, of course, but I thought it'd be fun, Andrew, because what if people, okay, what if someone listening to this lives in a cabin 362 miles away from nature, and somehow they have internet, and somehow they're listening to us, and they go, we can never get our hands on strawberry frosted donut Oreos. Or if you just want to know what we think it tastes like. Yes, or if you want to know what we think it tastes like, but you could live vicariously through us. <gasps> oh, they look handsome enough. Andrew's holding up the golden Oreo, showing the pink glitter speckled cream in the middle. He's opening it up. He's revealing the beige cream, and then he's scraping it off so people can see the pink cream. Andrew, scrape it off so people can see. You know, so, so the other side, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. He's turning the Oreo so people can now see the cream. Oh, he dropped the cream. Oh, Andrew, here, I'll give you a, a fresh one. That was but, but, but save that, because I'm going to feed it to a raccoon later. I know just where he is. All right, grab Andrew. Oh, isn't this fun? Now, of course, they're going to be delicious. I never appreciate on the internet when people like, I, I, I can't imagine. Why, 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 why would because, you say what you just said? Because I think everything is delicious. I think everything works. <laughs> you what is the segment then? It's Just us. Garrett eating something and saying it's delicious? And maybe Andrew saying, thinking Well, if I got to come through, listen, if you need an overcranked, more vigilant, more <laughs> critical personality to come in here and throw something in the mix because it sounds like you're going to be incredibly complacent. Yeah. Um, then I'm, I will, in fact, take that on. I'm probably just going to enjoy this. Now, okay, so just just for everybody, yes. um, people listening, um, you're just going to have to... Well, what, they're, they're supposed to taste like froth. That... Garrett did a great job uh, describing them, so you should have a good visual representation of them in your head. But, uh, yeah, so we're, we're, we're trying now the limited edition strawberry, strawberry. frosted... 
Well, I tried. Do you know what they're called? I'm reading it off the package. Oh, now that you can trust that. We are trying the limited edition strawberry frosted donut Oreos. So, okay, strawberry frosted donut. So yeah. what I'm thinking of here, and I didn't know this, when you go into a donut stop, shop, the donuts that have the um, the pink pink yeah icing and sprinkles yeah that's a strawberry donut I would assume raspberry I think it's just it's just it's a regular one with icing right yeah strawberry anyway that this is this an Oreo form ooh what if it tastes like a donut now <laughs> on, on the uh, on the cultural significance uh, scale yeah right now these Oreos. I were, don't these, know. were these hard to get? Was there one left? No, there was so many. <laughs> is this another one of those things that's existed for like yeah, a yeah. year? <laughs> no, no, it says limited edition. Isn't this what make things on a thing? scale of Cool Ranch Doritos to the Travis Scott Mill? Yeah, how interesting and new is this? <laughs> uh, it's freaking Planet Saturn, dude. <laughs> I would love to do this regardless, but I'm just curious. Like, what are we getting ourselves into here? Is this going to be controversial? People are going to be like, no. oh my gosh, every, the whole world is, can't decide if they like or don't like the strawberry frost. Is it, is it a topic right now? Is but isn't GQ, this, Cosmopolitan, uh, Forbes, is everybody freaking out about this? I have a point to make. Is Black Friday and this kind of the same? Oh, <laughs> Andrew, th th this will be bigger than Christmas, probably. And isn't this what... Isn't this isn't this what makes things a things? Is people on the internet talking about them in a podcast going, oh, so we can we can even if we're um just basically lying to everyone, we can just say this is the craziest thing ever. I don't need it okay. to be the craziest thing ever. I don't I'm either. asking you, saying is how you went out and got these things. Yeah. If they are. No, there were so many. Also, left. Garrett's already eating it. No, has it had any reaction? No, I'm just nibbling, and and I didn't even realize that I was doing it because right. I do a lot of so how, so 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 we're. <laughs> This segment, what do we call it? I think, no, I think this is us. If people are on the fence about wanting to try something. Yes. We're helping everybody. We're helping. And we're going to, yeah. if they're on the fence, yeah. we're going to help tip them safely yeah. in one direction or the oh, other. Oh, I can't fit anything else in my cart. If I put this bag of Oreos in there, the whole cart will topple over. Not if you listen to Sweet Boys. Is it, is, we call it worth it? And like everybody's like, that's a BuzzFeed thing. <laughs> remember, oh yeah, we just literally stole their idea. <laughs> Andrew, remember the, um, the Coca-Colas too? Right. How Ooh. fun is that? Now, do you, did you also bring a, the palate cleanser could be the pop tarts. Oh, listen! The, remember, remember the other day when I said, "Oh, I, I eat a lot of junk food. I'm going to try to like start just Andrew, flooding my body with green smoothies." It's just one Oreo. Where, no, but this got out of hand real quick. I know. Zero to one hundred, very fast. Yes, it is. Andrew, I've already Ooh. tried the little golden Oreo, and guess what? It tastes like a glazed donut, and it could be. A Wait, I'm sorry. The 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 Oreo cracker element. I think so. There, there, there's a flavor to that. I think so. I think oh. it tastes like a glazed donut. I, I thought all the appeal no. and all of the the niche was in the filling. Now, uh, now I don't. This often, is a whole okay. I don't often right. eat. I we don't. are we are entering another realm of but, but, but uh, complicatedness here. We, we got to get ready for this. I don't eat a lot of Oreos, so I don't know. I uh, Oreos aren't my go-to thing. I'm more of a cheese its guy. But yeah. Andrew, I, I don't know. It, it, can you just try the golden part and see if it tastes like glazed donut or if it tastes like? Uh, oh, he's doing the whole thing. I always I always sniff my oh, food. I love sniffing. Isn't. Smells. Now, the Oreos, the ones that look like this with, yeah. the gold, with the golden yellow outside. Yeah. They sell those yeah. all the time. What are they called? Golden. Vanil I vanilla. Think they're literally called golden Oreos. Vanilla Oreo? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay I'm going to. Okay. Oh, that crunch was so nice. I forgot. We're doing a public service here. Imagine this your, isn't little, a game. your little teeth crunching. If we put a camera in your mouth, how fun that would be. <laughs> Sorry. We are, we're, do, we're doing a service to the community. Oh, this is tasting so nice and fun. Is that your official review? Yeah. <laughs> this is tasting so nice and fun. A little vague. Yeah. I, I, I taste like I'm in, I feel like I'm in uh, Frosted Donut Strawberry Heaven. The way that I'm judging this yeah. is right now, do I feel like, feel as an overall human being, top to bottom, top. hair to my feet, do I feel like I just ate a strawberry frosted donut? Yeah. And I know that they're different. Yeah. But- I do think that there, that's a related, relevant thing. If you put your about. hands above your head, it'd be fingers to feet. Yeah. Okay. I think that they captured something. I think they captured something. Yeah. Do I, is it the most unique flavor I've ever had in my life? I'm going to put, I'm going to say no. No. Hard no on that. It kind of tastes yeah. like a, like a frosted animal crackers with a little hint of strawberry. Oh, just yeah. a little something. If you got a vanilla Oreo, cracked it open, yeah. got rid of the inside, threw a strawberry in a blender with a handful of frosted animal crackers. Yeah. And then you took that that that, that mushy yeah. substance and you put it in between the Oreo mm. and you put it down. Yeah. We're looking at the same thing. Move on to the Coke, Andrew. Which one do you want? Vanilla All right. or dark blend? We go vanilla. Ooh, we'll make this one quicker. We know people might not even be here for now, this. I will say I do love me I do love me a Starbucks Frappuccino. 
which is something you cannot get at Starbucks. You have to buy it at the grocery store. It's in that glass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you? I don't know, Andrew. You want to hear? <laughs> you want, Andrew. Sorry. I'm about to make the ASMR community shake up a storm. <laughs> Listen. Huh? That was me uh, opening up my little Coca-Cola coffee and taking a first sip. I'll be contacting ASMR Gibby after this and seeing what you think. That's the best thing that's ever happened to me. I give it 10 out of 10. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. I, I don't know what else to tell you. I love it. Coca-Cola and coffee go together like rice and orange chicken. Okay. I'll say it. Yeah. Twice you don't like rice, it. though. I don't like rice. I have, I have rice every oh, day. Oh, I pass on rice every time. We're trying to bring something new to the uh, food uh, review YouTube community. Oh, 10 out of 10. In line with this, I'm yeah. going to... Uh, do, do, you, uh, do oh. you pass on it? Or do you buy it? <laughs> Some Vanilla. weird segment we don't know the game. Do you pass or buy? Now the- <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's exactly what's happening. Vanilla Coca-Cola. Now, here's the thing with coffee. <laughs> this is a lot going yeah, on yeah, here. Yeah. Let me break this down. Oh. Everybody's just like, all oh, right. They're just but getting we're going to so- be here. They're getting physically tired. We're going to be here. Find a seat. I have to go number one. Okay. Maybe you do that and I'll do the review. That's <laughs> Why don't you uh, go to the bathroom as quickly as possible? This is a segment in which Garrett goes to the bathroom, and then within the next 60 seconds, which is approximately how long it's going to take you yeah. to do whatever you're going to do in the bathroom, I'm assuming uh, I will. <laughs> Andrew, the worst. no, no, no. No, this is it's the not worst the worst. Environment to set. No, it's not. While I'm gone, make it cool, handsome, low key, calming, and nice for people, okay? Well, I don't want to be stepping on the report of the week here. The suit guy who reviews food, yes. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to be stepping on his brand. But but but, but before I go, can I ask, can I have the rest of your Pop-Tart? Because you didn't finish eating it. I, I am going to get a cavity. Can I have this? 18 grams of sugar. So here we go. Vanilla Coca-Cola coffee. So here's so Garrett's in the bathroom. There's a lot going on here. There's Coca-Cola. Cool. There's vanilla. Now, we already know about vanilla Coca-Cola, so that already exists. The rogue factor here is the coffee. Vanilla coffee, yes, yeah, seen it, been there, done that, got it. But coffee and Coca-Cola, okay, so that's going to be the combo that we're all waiting for to see. Here we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Ooh. Mm. Ah. Ooh. Listen, right off the bat, mixed feelings. The, uh, let me tell you something. I don't know how yours tasted. All I can say about this is it, it tastes confused. This is something I would have made up in my head when I was like 12, not realizing, oh, things have to make sense. Because let me tell you, I'm getting a metal, I'm getting a metal taste. I'm getting, I'm getting a hint of metal here. It tastes like three things running parallel to each other at once. It doesn't taste like a fusion of things. The rating I'm gonna give it, first impression, 3.4. 3.4. What are we rating the Strawberry Frosted Donut Oreos? We both tried the same exact one, so. They're 10, they're great. I don't know. I like everything. When I was a little kid, I used to draw uh, people getting their I know that's a little bit brutal, but I did. I was just thinking about that when I was in the restroom. I think I, that, that that was such a disturbing thing. I think it's going to have to hit, get, the, get the sensor. Really? <laughs> yes. All right. I'm sorry. But I did used to draw that. Did anybody come across the drawings and go... This is cause for concern. No, no, people kind of ignore it. You know, I did, uh, you know. You know, you know, no, I don't think I do, well, which is why maybe, I'm asking these questions. You know, I, Garrett, I didn't realize. back to the strawberry frosted donut Oreo rating. Are you really going to settle on a 10 here? I think life is so complex. Are I you going to give, right, so let, let me ask you a question. This yeah. is a basic question in the, in the, in the realm of uh, reviewers. Sure. You're telling me that you're going to give that sushi that you love so much from that one place that's really expensive a 10 as well. And then you're also going to give a frosted <laughs> donut or I'm just asking Shout a question. Shout out Kabosu. Uh, let's see. Okay. Realistically, on a personal level for me, 4.2. Ooh, boy, quick. Yeah. You really changed up there. Truth comes out, brother. Uh, for the audio listeners, also, Garrett is drinking his, I believe, the Coca-Cola uh, coffee out of a coffee pot with ice. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, well, feeling a little, I'm feeling a little all over the place today. WandaVision ended last night. I don't know what to do with my life anymore. I'm kind of all over the place. You know, I'm putting my new place together. I don't know what's happening anymore, but I'm loving this cola coffee fusion. Okay. Three, 4.1 for the donuts, brother. 10 for the co- cola coffee. <sighs> I'm being honest here. I'm not trying to do this thing where, oh, look at that. You, you're being recorded, so you got to have this, you know, really dramatic opinion about something. No, I'm not trying to do that. I'm genuinely, if I think I was alone and I drank this, I was alone. I'm not talking about me and you alone. I'm talking about alone. Alone, alone. I would have made those same faces. Because I made quite the face. You did? Yours probably tastes better. Because this has vanilla and coffee and Coke 
trying to compete for attention. <laughs> it, no, they're both like, me, pick me, pick, pick me. me. Certain things make sense together, and I think you totally get it, right? Like yeah. spaghetti and tomato spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti and garlic bread. <laughs> um, You know, like uh, lemonade and Subway ice sandwiches tea. and cookies. <laughs> I'm thinking about things that like chocolate chip ice cream, like sour cream and those vegetable chips like that we mint, like from Trader like Joe's. Mint chocolate chip, mint ice cream. and chocolate chips. You know what I saw? What I know, I think. I, I, listen, I'm gonna might be putting you on blast a little bit here. Okay, you can go ahead and you can th- steer this in any direction you want. But I think you've experienced the. Whoa! I don't know how to explain this. I think you've experienced this firsthand. Sure. That I and I heard this somewhere. I don't know if it's a fact. All right. But I did see something that looked legit about it. Trader Joe's, yeah, apparently, based on something I read, which I can't prove is true or not, kind of trains their employees to flirt with the customer. Are you serious? Is that real? <laughs> Are you serious? But you know it's real because of that reaction. Because you've probably had you've had you've had Trader Joe flings. I have. That's why I'm saying. Whoa! Wait a minute. Not, listen. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Listen. I'm not trying to do this thing where Clark, I. Clark, were you deceiving me? Listen, I'm not trying to... Dude, I dress up when I go in there now because of him. What, d- 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 do you think that Clark was just toying with me? Well, see, listen... He doesn't even get tips. I don't know what to think anymore. I'm a Trader Joe's loyalist. Exactly. I'm a Trader Joe's loyalist. Although, when I have to because, pop into is it, something... Is it, is it because... And listen, I'm not trying to... Yeah. You know what I'm not trying to do right now? I'm not oh, trying to do this thing... I know, oof. Where I'm making you think that, you know, all these people that you had flirtatious experiences with at Trader Joe's are all arousing you, if that's the right <sighs> word. But... Dare what I, dare Clark I and I have is real. When I go to checkout and he looks at my shirt and goes, oh, nice shirt. That's real, Andrew. And the look in his eyes. Okay? Hard cut. Hard cut to the corporate office. <laughs> so things like nice shirt. <laughs> the, these little things. You create the subtle reminder. No, no, no. You know, I understand, Andrew. I understand you're not trying to plot me against Clark and that we might still have a future together. Well, and so I, There's a phrase for what I am not doing that some people might think I'm doing. What? Raining on your parade. I'm not, you're not raining on my parade. Let me tell you, brother. I've taken my clouds and I've moved them far away from you right now in this can, conversation. Can I tell you something why it actually doesn't matter? Because um, I uh, haven't seen Clark in two years. <laughs> he worked there once upon a time, so I've actually let all hope go. But he did compliment my shirt once upon a time. Plus, <laughs> no, never mind. I think I found... <laughs> What the heck is happening? Also, by the way, I was about it, to admit that I think I found my husband on TikTok. I saw him, and I saw him, and I literally think that I'm going to marry him. And I almost tweeted the other day, easy that I that I, I almost this. I almost pound I almost this, tweeted this the other day. This person has access to this channel. This person doesn't listen to our podcast. I'm certain. He just I don't think he does. Brother, let me tell you something right now. You might as well get in a car, drive four hours to Las Vegas, go to the craps table, and roll some dice, baby, because <laughs> you're doing that right now. I almost tweeted. I almost tweeted the other day. I think it's my draft still i think i just found my husband on tiktok and i'm tweeting this right now because when we get engaged i'm gonna retweet this and say lol i'm gonna quote tweet this and say lol i'm still thinking about tweeting it and if he's listening to this right now if you're listening to this right now i'm not gonna say your name and you think it's you then don't think it's even you because it's probably not i'm it's not even a big deal i'm i'm just kidding this is getting so complicated we also are still technically in the um Oh, the sweet se- segment. Sweet solid surprise. Oh, how segment. about how about listen? Okay, how about this? Let me just get on top of this real quick. Let me just get. It. <laughs> What's going on? Let me just say I'm joking about everything I said, and if this person listens to this podcast, it's not a big deal. And screw off. At the end of the day, <laughs> if I had a crush on a girl, yeah, who had a podcast, you have so many crushes. You have so many crushes. Sorry, go on. If I had a crush on a girl, yeah, on a podcast. Sure. Would I listen to the podcast at some point? Do a little click, 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 scrub, scrub, scrub. And scrub, I scrub, scrub. No way he's going to land on this part. I'm talking about me in the tub. Oh. <laughs> you never take baths. Sometimes you do. Posting about yourself on the internet in general. Yeah. Creates the opportunity. And I'd say in the modern age, I think this is pretty normal. I think I know what you're getting at. I'm excited. For someone to learn about the person, not from them directly, because it's like, well, listen, it's going to kind of show me about your personality if I click on this podcast or watch this TikTok or do this or that. Like, I don't know. So if the person likes you enough, chances are they're not going to just, you know, be ignorant to the fact that there is data about you out there. I'm not talking about going deep into Facebook. I'm talking about just clicking on a promoted piece of content that you're actively doing. And if you've been talking to this person just for a little bit, I'm just saying you can't rule out the You fact. think he's going to make it through our sweet solid session no. where we're trying donuts? First of all, <laughs> no, because he is a person and no person will. But the <laughs> thing is, the thing is you can't rule out the fact yeah. that at some point, 
they check out some element of your of yes. what you do. Uh, I want to go to Renaissance festivals. I want to go to concerts. I miss everyone. I want to freaking hug people, dude. I miss people so much. I miss people. I'm going to go batty, brother. Batty. Strawberry Frosted Donuts. Did I rate those? I don't remember. No. 6.2. Really? Which is fair. Totally That's fair. Dude. Anything above a five, it's like, yeah, sure. If you want to try it, go ahead. Yeah. Um, uh, this good. time I'm going to give it 3.5. I love how it looks. Vanilla, Coke, coffee. The idea at a distance, yeah. I love it. I yeah. love it. Good. I love vanilla Coke. Oh, vanilla good. Coke is delicious. The, the, here's the thing with these products in front of us. These are swings. Swings. They're oh, swinging for the fences here. I love swings. Sure. Well, I meant like a baseball bat. But they're swinging, and I think the whole point of them yeah. is to rate them. Did they do that or did they not do that is the segment. And yeah. I don't think they did that. For the for the Coke, they're the Oreos, yeah. They kind of came close to doing it. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I uh, what if that's just a bad batch, like a bad can, like the factory employee put too much, like you know, syrup in it or something. <laughs> what if the other cans? I don't would, think that, like, you don't think that's how that works. Individual, no, I think it's all regulated with machines and stuff, and I think oh. everything's weighed perfectly. I wonder. I wonder if people are enjoying the uh, surprise solid sweet sweet solid surprise segment. If they don't, they're doomed. Because this podcast now, has been all pretty much my surprise. What is it? The most <laughs> detached from reality people. For, for, the, for those of you who are trying these at home with us, <laughs> like we never gave anybody a heads up. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, man. Uh, that could be fun, though. We could we could tweet out, like, hey, on Wednesday, we're going to be trying the whatever. If yeah. If you get it, yeah. they could try it with us. That Now, listen. I don't know if I've ever seen anything that innovative on the internet. Before. Oh, did, did we innovate? We're breaking reality. What's what's real? What's on the on the screen? Uh, yes, yes, People yes. are commenting. Listen, dude, can you imagine? I gotta say, by I the way, I think that's more of a live format thing, which maybe we'll find. Who knows? Wait, what? Sorry, go on. I don't mean to shut down the most innovative idea I've ever heard. You're practically Albert Einstein. You're practically Albert Einstein. My microphone stand sounds like a squeaky floor. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? I will say. Um, I watched the uh, Billie Eilish documentary. Too we good? Yeah, it, it was good. I think it would be very, very good for somebody who really liked Billie Eilish yeah, music yeah. because I, I'm not too seasoned with her discography. Yeah, they were like showing her singing songs for a long time, which yeah. is perfectly nice. I just wanted to watch it because I think it's, it's a fascinating topic. Yeah, and Andrew was, loves uh, behind the curtain sort of stuff, really, industry stuff. Yeah, it was definitely well done, and really cool, and yeah, it's crazy, man. But the fame, all that stuff, it's so it's so wild. That is a great. Yeah, it, that is a great. Um, depiction of what it's like to be a famous teenager. I think it seems very real. You I would so I'd, I'd really like. So you're you're recommending that to people more than you're recommending Vanilla Coke, the Billie Eilish documentary. Yes, especially if you get that whole uh, <gasps> Apple Plus free. Thing. It's like free to to watch it. Basically, well then there you go. If you have an Apple TV. I think I don't know um, exactly, but yeah, if you want to see just how simple yeah things look behind <clears> the curtain. <throat> now, granted, it's complicated, but. It's just so funny. You just see Billie Eilish and her brother in the room in their parents' house, like a normal family. She lives in her parents? Well, she was like 16, 17. Of course she was living with her parents. Most of this documentary. But I'm just, I'm just saying, if you it's, very, your... it's very much like, okay, yeah. we're just a family, and they go in their room, and they do this music stuff. And then, of course, when they put out the music, all the awards, all this and all that, and it's like wild. But when you strip it down, yeah. it just goes to show you, you don't like get famous, and yeah. then your life is catapulted into this like incredible it's like no it comes with a lot of stuff and also a lot of it's the same it's like you kind of who who are you the people your family you're around like it's it's just the wisest words ever spoken i think are everything is everything i love those three words combined so much eh, i won't go there but i do feel that way and i would like for that to be in the podcast everything is everything Everything well, is so that's a, related. That's a tweet. We'll put it on the Sweet Boys Twitter. Oh, man. Oh, man. That that sounds incredible. Also, that's really cool that she, um, you know, didn't instantly, I mean, I assume didn't instantly get, you know, fame and success and go, oh, I want to live elsewhere. I love people living with their families. Well, I, I, love I don't it, know. But, I mean, she was literally not an adult. So. No, no, no. That, that makes sense. I just, in general, I just love when people, like, I hear people who are, um, you know, full-grown adults who are maybe on hard times or something and go, I have to move back home. And I'm always like, that's so special. I just love that. I love how in other cultures people live with their families for longer. Mm -hmm. um, in general sure. and so I, I love hearing about people who live with their families at any age to be honest I think it's really cool if you live with your family right now I hope you love it and try yeah. to enjoy it yeah I agree thank you so much for watching episode what episode of this is uh, Sweet Boys I think this is 15 episode 15 okay is there anything else practice what you love hope you're feeling good drink your water stay hydrated drop your shoulders breathe deep thank you for listening to Sweet Boys Podcast truly we're here every Wednesday 
You can either watch, you can listen. We're on all the listening things. It's Spotify, Deezer. Uh, Is that iTunes. true? I don't no, even. Literally yeah. anything you can listen to podcasts to, we're on that we have a service that puts it. Yeah. Where are they? We're here on YouTube. Be in the comments. Give, give yourself a little, a little grade school introduction. It's going to be fun. And we got a lot of stuff coming up. Um, not really, kind of, but also, yes. Yes. You think you know what this podcast is about. <laughs> think again. <laughs> that's cool. That's, that's a cool thing to say, right? Like, yeah. I think we're always on the verge of like doing something crazy with the podcast. I don't know what it's going to be. But, I mean, listen. Yes. You showed up here and you thought you were going to get the same thing. And guess what? And guess what? You got surprised with Starbucks and you know, Donuts and Coca-Cola coffee. Also, this squeaky. <laughs> there it Ooh! is. No, right. <sighs> okay. All My right. My guy. Let's say the thing. Okay, yeah. Uh, hope everybody's doing well out there. And feel free to be sweet. And feel free to let us see you next week. Oh, it's us seeing the next week. I guess it's both. Yeah, because there's two of us. Like, we're going to be here if you want to see us through these camera lens. I through the camera them. lens or through their little earbuds if they're listening. And, uh, yeah, have a great week. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>